Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to this afternoon's council meeting. My name is Helen Morrissey, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the Brimbank City Council. I declare this meeting open at 4.30 p.m. I would like to extend a very warm welcome to the members of the public who are watching this at their homes. The purpose of this meeting is for the councillor-elect to be sworn in. Due to the declaration of a state of disaster in Victoria, this meeting is deemed open to the public via online live stream available through Council's website and an audio and video recording of the meeting will be published on Council's website after the meeting. Could I ask you all to please stand for the acknowledgement of the public. On behalf of the Brimbank City Council, I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land, the Wurundjeri people, and pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging. Please be seated. There are actually no apologies for this afternoon's meeting. The Oath or Affirmation of Office and Council Code of Conduct Declaration is required by the Local Government Act and requires each councillor elect to take the oath or affirmation of office before they can act as a councillor. Having made and signed the oath or affirmation, I will ask each new councillor to also sign a declaration that they have read and will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct 2020. The oath or affirmation of office and the signing of the code declaration will be recorded in the minutes of this meeting. I will call on each councillor elect in alphabetical order and ask you to stand to take the oath and affirmation. I call Victoria Borg to stand. I, Victoria Borg. I, Victoria Borg. Swear by Almighty God. Swear by Almighty God. I will undertake the duties of the Office of, the, uh, of Councillor. I will undertake the duties of the Office of Councillor. In the best interests of the municipal community. In the best interests of the municipal community. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will faithfully and impartially I will faithfully and impartially carry out the functions, powers, authorities and discretions carry out the functions, powers, authorities and discretions vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 or any other Act. Vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 or any other Act to the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. Please be seated. I now call on Sarah Bragg. I, Sarah Branton. I, Sarah Branton. Solemnly and sincerely declare and affirm that. Solemnly and sincerely declare and affirm that. I will undertake the duties of the Office of Councillor. I will undertake the duties of the Office of Councillor. In the best interests of the municipal community. In the best interests of the municipal community. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will faithfully and impartially. I will faithfully and impartially. Carry out the functions, powers, authorities and discretions. Carry out the functions, powers, authorities and discretions. Vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 and any other Act. Vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 or any other Act. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. Congratulations, Council. Thank you. This is, you might like to click Councillor Borg and Councillor Brown. And now call on Tweed Dang. Tweed, could you stand, please? I, Tweed Dang. I, Tweed Dang. Solemnly and sincerely declare and affirm. Solemnly and sincerely declare and affirm. That I will undertake the duties of the Office of Councillor. 
and will undertake the duties of the Office of Councillor in the best interest of the municipal community. In the best interest of the municipal community. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will faithfully and impartially. I will faithfully and impartially carry out the functions, powers, authorities and discretions. Carry out the function, powers, authorities and discretions vested in me in the lo under the Local Government Act 2020 or any other act. Vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 or any other act. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. Congratulations, please be seated. Now call on Sam David. I, Sam David. I, Sam David. Swear by Almighty God. Swear by Almighty God. That I will undertake the duties of the Office of Councillor. I will undertake the duties of the Office of Councillor. And in the best interest of the municipal community. In the best interest of the municipal community. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor's Code of Conduct. I will faithfully and impartially. I will faithfully and impartially carry out the functions, powers, carry out the functions, authorities, and discretions. The powers, authorities, and discretions vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 or any other act. Vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 or any other act. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. Congratulations. Thank you. Now call on Maria Kerr. I'm Maria Kerr. I'm Maria Kerr. Swear by Almighty God. Swear by Almighty God. I will undertake the duties of the Office of Councillor. I will undertake the duties of the Office of Councillor. In the best interest of the municipal community. In the best interest of the municipal community. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will faithfully and impartially. I will faithfully and impartially. Carry out the functions, powers, authorities and discretions. Carry out the functions, powers, authorities and discretions vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 vested in me under the Local Government Act or 2020 or any other act or any other act to the best of my skill and judgment to the best of my skill and judgment congratulations thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I now call on Bruce Lancashire stand I, Bruce Lancashire. I, Bruce Lancashire. Solemnly and sincerely declare and affirm that. So, sorry. Uh, swear by Almighty God. Oh, sorry, I've got you down as the no. affirmation. Apologies. Okay, let's start again. I, Bruce Lancashire. I, Bruce Lancashire. Swear by Almighty God. Swear by Almighty God. That I will undertake the duties of oath of councillor in the best interests of the municipal. I will undertake the duties of the Office of Councillor in the best interests of the municipal community. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will abide by the Councillor Code, Code of Conduct. And uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will faithfully and impartially. I will faithfully and impartially carry out the functions, powers, authorities and discretions carry out the functions, powers, authorities and discretions vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 or any other act uh, vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 or any other act to the best of my skill and judgment to the best of please be seated, congratulations thank you <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you to stand, Trung Lu? I, Trung Lu, 
Archul Lu. Swear by Almighty God. Swear by Almighty God. That I will undertake the duties of the Office of Councillor. That I will undertake the duties of the Office of Councillor. In the best interest of the municipal community. In the best interest of the municipal community. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standard of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will faithfully and impartially. I will faithfully and impartially. Carry out the functions, powers, authorities and discretions. Carry out the functions, power, authorities and discretion. Vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 and any other act. Vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 and any other act. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yasmin, you in? Call Dr. Stand? I, Yasmin Nguyen. I, Jasmine Nguyen. Swear by Almighty, oh, so, solemnly and, sorry, solemnly and sincerely declare and affirm. Solemnly and sincerely declare and affirm. That I will undertake the duties of the Office of Councillor. That I will undertake the duties of the Office of Councillor. In the best interests of the municipal community. In the best interests of the municipal community. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the Councillor, the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will faithfully and impartially. I will faithfully and impartially. Carry out the functions, powers, authorities and discretions. Carry out the functions, powers, authorities and discretions. Vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 or any other act. Vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 or any other act. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Colin J. Papilia. I hope I've got that right. Hi. I, I J. Papilia. I J. Papalia. Solemnly and sincerely declare and affirm that. Solemnly and sincerely declare and affirm that. I will undertake the duties of the Office of Councillor. I will undertake the duties of the Office of Councillor. In the best interests of the municipal community. In the best interest of the municipal community. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standard of, of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will faithfully and impartially. I will faithfully and impartially. Carry out the functions, powers, authorities and discretions. Carry out the functions, powers, authority and discretions. Vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 or any other act vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 or any other act. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. Congratulations. Thank you. I call on Rangarasi. Please stand. I Rangarasi. I Rangarasi. Swear by Almighty God. Swear by Almighty God. I will undertake the duties of the Office of Councillor. I will undertake the duties of the Office of the Councillor in the best interest of the municipal community. In the best interest of municipal community. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold, and uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standards of the conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will faithfully and impartially. I will faithfully and impartially carry out the functions, power, authorities and discretions. Carry out the functions, powers, authorities and discretions. Vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020. Vested in me under Local Government Act 2020. Or any other act. Or any other act. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Last but not least. Vichikako and Virginia Tarkos. I Virginia Tarkos. I Virginia Tarkos. 
Cross. Swear by Almighty God. Swear by Almighty God. I will undertake the duties of the Office of Councillor. That I will undertake the duties of the Officer of Councillor. In the best interests of the municipal community. In the best interests of the municipal community. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. And uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will faithfully and impartially. I will faithfully and impartially. Carry out the functions, powers, authorities and discretions. Carry out the functions, powers, authorities and discretions. Vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 or any other act. Vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 or any other act to the best of my... To, yeah, to, the, best of my, to the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. Congratulations, please be seated. Councillors, I would now ask that you please sign the Council of Conduct in front of you. oath and affirmation and the declaration that you've read and abide their council of conduct. I will now call on each councillor in alphabetical order to make a short address to the meeting. I call on in alphabetical order to Councillor Victoria Ball. Thank you, Madam CEO. I feel very honoured and humbled to be re-elected to represent the community at local government level. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the members of the community and the Grasslands Board for having entrusted me with this responsibility and voted me in once again to represent them at this council. I would also like to thank the broader community for its support and words of encouragement to continue with this work. I would also like to thank the CEO the, exec the executive team and all the staff for all the preparation and the work that goes behind the scene to prepare us to take on this role and beyond. To my fellow councillors, I am very much looking forward to work with, together as a team for the benefit of the community that we represent. Great to see such a wonderful diversity of councillors and for the second time, so many female councillors. This is really an indication of something special and highly significant is happening in this wonderful municipality in terms of women in leadership. Last but not least, I would like to finish by thanking my husband, Louis, who is the wind behind my wings and the rest of the family for their continuous support. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Um, I want to acknowledge that I think me getting voted in by the community is a real indicator that people in Broombank really care about the environment and about some real base social issues. And I'm making a commitment to try to always prioritise the environment and that's, that's what my representation here is for. I'm feeling really optimistic and really excited about the group and the team that we have. I think everyone here very genuinely wants very good things for our community. And 
even when we disagree on things. I'm, I just think that we're going to be able to do a lot of work over the next four years because from all the conversations I've had, from what I've seen, I really believe that everyone here does want really great things. And so I'm, I'm, I'm just beside myself excited about this opportunity to do a lot of, a lot of work together. Um, I want to say a big thank you to my dad um, who was worried about me doing this but absolutely supported me and a big thank you to my husband um, you might never meet him <laughs> but he I wouldn't have been able to do this without him as well so thank you I'm really excited I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, Australia, to the candidates, all the voters. I um, appreciate for the voters who confidence and support me uh, in electing me at the at your representative. I uh, especially thank you to my supporters, friends, and family. I'll commit to myself to work for the best interests of the community. I would like to thank you to all the councillors, the executive management team, and the council support team. I'm uh, looking forward to working with you um, as a team for the good of the community. Thank you. Thank you, Madam CEO. Yes, uh, for me is to uh, welcome the newly elected councillors here today. And uh, it's not a promise because I always said, don't promise anything at all, but you can try. But tonight, I promise that I work, I'll be working with you all the way through. Uh, congratulations to the, uh, my former uh, fellow councillors for re-election. That's an extremely good thing because I think we need that continuation to happen. It's the experience that come forward and we need to, to have them happen. And I myself, and I'm sure my rest of all the councillors, the former councillors, they had the same thought as me. Together we have made a lot of good decisions. And we left behind us some excellent, excellent foundations. And, uh, and that's the reason for me we wanted to come back. Really, what I want to see is a bricks and mortar, as I say, the buildings for various developments. And this will happen. It will happen soon. With the airport railing once in a, in a generation, these things doesn't happen all the time. But I think we're blessed to have this uh, decision made by the governments, the federal and that of state, and the airport railing will pass from here. Uh, it, it create jobs and investment, and only have, uh, not only in Brimbach, but also the Western region in the region of Victoria. I also believe that we have that to facilitate the business development, working hard to establish stronger links with trade groups and strip shopping centers. The retail development can only improve the economy and employment. And once again, as I said, what I said, we're here, let's try and make it a team for our city. And I think we can do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Firstly, I'm very honoured to be elected to Brink Bank City Council. I'm really looking forward to a very productive and prosperous four years ahead for Brink Bank and our community. Thank you to everyone in Taylor Court for the overwhelming support that I received. It was really amazing. Um, I also want to say, let's put Brink Bank first and let's head in the right direction. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I think uh, I love the words that have been said so far. They're lovely. And uh, I too have a lot of people to thank. Certainly my wife, who put in an enormous amount of work, my children, uh, supporters uh, who worked very hard through the campaign, and, and of course the, uh, the residents uh, who supported me, which is the reason I'm here now. And, uh, and I think as famous words have been said reasonably that uh, in another election that we're here to, of course, um, support all the residents 
um, right across not just Taylor's Ward but Brimbank to do the best we can for them. And I would like to also uh, comment on the great work that was done by the previous council that has set up this council to be in quite a good position. Uh, there were some really tough decisions made along the way and uh, we didn't shirk from any of those decisions to get things um, going and work through to what we've got done today. To the, uh, and of course to the uh, CEO and staff that we worked with over four years, thank you very much. Uh, those decisions, uh, we made the decisions, they did all the work. <laughs> <laughs> so um, thank you very much to all the staff that have helped on that. I think uh, it was because of those sort of things that I decided to run again. It made it worthwhile to have another go and there is so many exciting things to do in Brimbank. Uh, the next four years, and I take the point about the environment, I'm pretty keen on that too. Um, there are so many exciting projects coming up in the next four years and pulling us, helping to pull the community out of COVID will be a challenge and one that I think we've all revel in working towards. So in that note, um, thank you all, and uh, thank you to the community, my wife, my family, thank you. Well, first of all, I'll say congratulations to everybody who actually uh, came on council this, um, today. A um, memorable moment um, for the next four years. Um, I want to say, just take an opportunity to say thank you very much it is a great honour um, to give me the opportunity to serve the community um, in a different capacity, which I've been through on my whole career, uh, trying to serve community. This is a, a really honour for me to actually get this opportunity. Uh, having said that, I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you for all my family and friends, and especially all the residents who have supported me, not in this campaign, but all the previous venture and have faith in me actually to, uh, to stand for them. Um, secondly, I'd like to um, take this opportunity to say I'll be looking forward greatly to work with the um, CEO and administration staff in the next four years, and especially the next four years or the 10th councillor here. Hopefully, we all can work together and achieve one objective, one object only, is to get all the motion parts through for the better of our community. So no matter where we go, hope we all work together and get achieved that goal. So I'll keep and say thank you and looking forward to uh, the next four years. Well, um, hi everyone. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to my family my supporters who helped me on my campaign, the residents in Harvest Award and the broader Y community of Brimbank for bestowing me the privilege of representing you to be your council on Brimbank City Council. And I'd also like to have a special thank you to, um, to other young people who ran with me in different councils, um, Long, Claudia, um, Anthony, Judy, Jeremy, and also Daniel, um, Celia, and Kenny. They've been a great support. And I, as a, as a counselor under 25, I hope that you know, we inspired more young people to get engaged with their government, local, state, or federal, or, or just in general to the community. Um, and, you know, I think we have a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, as Brimbank, we've been hit hardest by the pandemic, and we've got to recover from it. But we also need to invest in our future, uh, sustainability, the youth, uh, you know, our businesses. And um, yeah, we have such a rich multicultural society in Brimbank, and it's represented here in our council. And I really look forward to working with all of you, the, you know, the fellow councillors, um, the council, um, the wider community to bounce from him back and show that the west side is the best side. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. The west side is the best side. <laughs> um, I just wanted to uh, say a huge thank you um, to all my supporters in the Horseshoe Bend Ward. Um, it was a tough uh, election time, especially during COVID when we were all uh, in, in lockdown. So 
Um, thank you to everyone who has supported me through this. Um, a special thank you to my family and friends um, and everyone that hosted a sign out in the early mornings delivering pamphlets before work. I really um, appreciate all the support. Um, I'm really, really excited this year to be able to work with everybody in our team. We have such a diverse group. It's good to have some new councillors and, uh, and um, old councillors to help us um, and support us. So I'm um, really looking forward to working everyone, with everyone and just a massive thank you. Thank you. Ms. Rossi. First, I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land that we meet and pay my respect to the elders past, present and emerging. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the people of the Taylor's Ward who have overwhelm oh, sorry, overwhelmingly put their trust in me to be their local representative for the next four years. I would also like to thank all of my volunteers, friends, colleagues and family. In particular, I would like to thank my uh, supportive husband, Sash, my beautiful children, Euros and Anya, my friend Natalie Hutchins, and George and Sally Tarasik for all their personal support. I look forward to uh, serving the people of Taylor's Ward and working hard with my fellow colleagues on delivering the services and infrastructure we need to create a better Green Bank. Thank you. Thank you. Council Councillors, fellow councillor colleagues, our distinguished guests and staff, I stand before you humbled for being returned and ready to serve as a councillor of Freebank Council. But before that, I would like to acknowledge the councillors before me. I thank them here today and the ones that were not successful. I thank them for their service, their legacy that will continue to shine bright for years to come. I congratulate all the new, newly appointed councillors who embark on a new and exciting journey. The returning councillors are here to support and mentor you, and as is the administration. The first few months are daunting till you find your feet and your voice. I'm really excited with the new energy that you will bring to council, and I welcome all of you. Finally, a big thank you to my family, my friends, and a very big thank you to my community. My campaign was a very grassroots campaign, run and supported by you. I thank the Horseshoe Bend Ward residents from the bottom of my heart. I'm here because of your support and your endorsement. My vision is that of possibility and unity and recovery. I look forward to working with all of you to advance issues of importance for our community. To all the candidates that ran in the election, thank you for participating in the democratic process. I thank you for your trust and faith in me. I will try my very best and utmost to fulfil your expectations as a community first councillor. Thank you. Thank you. So councillors, that brings us to the end of the meeting. Um, thank you all and thank you to those in the community for your interest in this meeting. I declare this meeting closed at 5.03pm. Thank you. Thank you.